Welcome back to another episode of Mighty Master Irimakun. We're getting into the climax of this current arc, the Walter Park arc that I had zero hopes for. Fucking absolutely nothing. I was like, let's just go in and just ca just casually vibe again, even though we've been having such a long intermission. No, this is just getting serious. Now, the Musashi, you know, there are, they are the Walter's tab. There's three magical beasts. Three magical beasts to fight, you know, the three groups that we're in right now with Kaligo's group. Kaligo is just saying, fuck these kids. Let them learn. <laughs> this is how they should really learn and still <laughs> sitting on the sides. Everything is in ruins. It's just like an apocalyptic, you know, amusement park right now. He still has a fucking nice little table just on a beach chair, just sipping his drink, just watching. Good, good job, guys. Keep going. Now, I, we know that Kaligo truly does care about his students, but it's pretty funny to see him just enjoy so much whenever they're just getting tormented like this. This is the most we've ever seen him smile. I think they will grow though. This is important training and Jazz, he's got something, I don't know, this little instrument looking thing that's gonna help them out. We really thought all that it would take was, you know, Shaq's blind, um, uh, Ka Kamui to distract the beast, um, Garb to use the wind attack, but af before Jazz would use like Pit to find like a weak spot. No, that's not really the case. There's something else with the little thing he's got going on. Jazz seems to be kind of stepping up as another leadership figure in the Misfits, right? I mean, we have multiple people that can be standalone leaders, uh, even though they're kind of all centered around Iruma, but Jazz does seem like one of the like generals, if you might say. Like, there's like Jazz, Azaz, and Sabro that comes to my mind. Um, there's other groups involved too, like um, like Amiri's group, and then there's also Iruma's group. Talking about Iruma's group, he's getting mad. He's actually getting upset. And uh, it was so ridiculous seeing everybody just like on their phones like, hmm, there's a kid just falling down in the rubble there, but I just I feel like there's no time. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave. Like, holy shit, are you serious? But then there are demons, and Balan does explain them. I forgot for a second again. Right, we're in Netherworld. This is demons, and we there was another realization like that against um Ka uh Kiriwo, right? When Kiriwo was truly expressing his true feelings about being a demon, and Eduma was like, Oh right, we're not this isn't like Earth. This is, these aren't humans. These are demons with desires. So keep forgetting about that. Like it's, I just forget that this is a demon world. Iruma is getting upset. What is he gonna do? First time getting actually angry. So I'm pretty excited about this. I've been letting know that there's gonna be some amazing Amiri scenes. So goddamn, I hope it's gonna be this or next or the next episode after that. Let's watch today's episode. But but now he's upset. We were having such a good time. Tell me how you're feeling! Release your anger on this red dragon thing! Okay. Ooh, look at that face. He, he actually looks upset now. This theme, I, I think this might be the first time I'm hearing this soundtrack. Uh, Panderilla. No, not yet. It's too early. Where is he going by himself? Is he really gonna go fight it? Are they getting riled up? Oh. Oh, hold up. His boys are getting kind of inspired too by it. I mean, he's grouping opera, of course, just single-handedly taking care of it. Ooh. How strong is opera? Hmm. I mean, opera is someone that can push Kaligo around. Gotta be ridiculously strong, right? Protecting everyone important to Iruma. Opera is so good. A completely opposite of what's happening with Kaligo. <laughs> And at their group, they just completely give it up on Kaligo, right? I want to trash. Wonder what Opera's bloodline ability is. He's like, Opera's really ag agile. Like, extremely dexterous. Dexterous. Is that a word? Dexterous. Opera, Opera flies around. He's, Opera's so lightweight. Got a little serious. Let's see. Can he dodge in midair? Oh! Back up! How many? And you're in the dress? No, it's not. No, it's not. she was. She can fight him though. She was like, oh no, I can't do my axe kick with in this dress anymore. Amiri stepping up. Amiri is an opera's ears. They seem this little bit same, huh? I almost thought that they were like family or related because of the hair color and the ears, kind of like that. But opera and Amiri. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I'm sure she'll help in her own way. Ooh, Jazz bringing everybody out. Cool. It's cool to see Shax get involved and more interested. Because usually he doesn't really give a shit and just gaming around. Okay, Garb! You can just deflect it. There you go, there you go. <laughs> Holy shit, I actually did it! 
Is it? Is there really a loud noise that's gonna disorient this beast? What is this? Big Pro gave it. Ear piercer whistle. All right, let's see it. Jazz, show me your resolve. Yeah. Go, go, go. Zero to the, so put all your mana into it. I didn't expect this kind of like, like, um, attack from Jazz. But it's really just down, yeah? Okay. It's done. Thanks, Kaligo. I guess he was the one that gave us the advice, but it should have become pretty obvious to Jazz to use it. <laughs> just happened to have this thing dangling around the entire time that we didn't use. Is it really done, though? I hope Kaligo actually compliments us, because we did take down this. Never mind. It's too easy. Who blocked that for us? Was it Kaligo? Yes, it was. Kaligo's not gonna say, you idiots. <laughs> How did you get so distracted? <laughs> and now he takes care of it, maybe? Oh, come on, they did their best. Their methods were a bad. <laughs> no compliment, just F. I'll fail. I'll fa <laughs> come on. Oh, we passed, though. Okay, we passed, though. You could have just done this from the beginning, man. Really, you just you just put your students' lives at risk. I mean, you did protect them when it really mattered, so... <laughs> so easily took it out! I want him to end this with the... Me. They are amazing when they decide to actually give a fuck. Now, I want to know what is... Oh, is he sitting on top of the beast? <laughs> the disrespect! We're taking a picture on top? He's smiling! Good job, guys. Alright, let's think about this very rationally. Okay. No one's even thinking. They're just thinking about how cute she is. Yes! They're fucking terrifying! <laughs> but they don't even care. <laughs> I personally would get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I wouldn't risk my life assuming that this shelter is gonna get taken over by the magical beast, but... But... She's so cute. Let's just stay here. <laughs> I wonder if this performance or this loudness of the music would, you know, attract the magical beast to come to us even more. But no time to think about that, right? We're not, we're not, we're not thinking rationally. We're thinking about how cute she is. Remember the scariness of the of the beast or her cuteness? She's so cute. Let's just stay here, guys. Does the logic make sense? I think I'm cherry picking. I think I'm just trying to, you know, deconstruct it to make it as funny as it sounds by making some ridiculous, but. It works. You do you. Clara, what are you doing? <laughs> Clara, I just have a feeling Clara's gonna clutch somehow. Even though she's kind of getting the trans. Wait. Wait, that's. You can earth bend? Wait, do you mean transform? What's her power? That looks like Agaris is like, you know. Earth bending power, but. Without speaking it out loud, all Perez complimenting Amity, like you're next level. Wow, rank six. Oh, I actually didn't know what rank she was. Huh? Wait, what? Huh? Wait, Amity has a San Devi stand? <laughs> uh, what's it called? Cyberpunk, but she's moving like frame by frame. Multiple powers? What is her bloodline ability? What? Her hair transforms when she gets serious? Yeah, I'm watching. Yeah. What is it? What is it? What's it called? Will you just like lift it? She's got strength like crazy. Yeah, you are. Romantista. Meaning, by believing she's <laughs> So, it's the more she believes how strong she is, the stronger she becomes. Her ceiling is uncapped. That's ridiculous. What the fuck? That's it. But of course, if she gets scared, then it would get taken away like God Opera's saying. But as long as she believes in herself, she's invincible. Holy shit. Holy sh... Yeah? Makes sense why she's a student council prez. 
And she's been hyped up since episode, you know, at one actually, but the strong that's insane. I'm gonna show me like a comment on me. Ah, I don't like like poison resistant does she if she just believes she has it, will she have it? Like, is it that kind of ridiculous power? Okay, Kurumu, this is nice, but I want to see back to Amity. Okay. What do you mean you're fine? Okay, so it, you can just believe it and it works. That's ridiculous. Holy shit. It's also super cool because, like, her hair transforms, too. She's got to be one of the coolest powers. Oh. That was her first Demdog concert, too. Right? Also, you know how whenever, like, the in, like, really important episodes, the anime opening starts playing whenever we're starting to fight? Ooh, look at that kick. It's kind of like that scene where we're playing like, a theme song, even though it's not the opening. <laughs> the stronger she becomes, and like, she keeps singing that song in her head. <laughs> totally invincible. Oh my god, that was so epic. Super power. Super speed. Just poison resistance, anything, as long as she believes it. But here's the one thing that I worry about. Because how uh, ridiculously strong she is right now. I worry that in the future, there will come a moment where her mental collapses. And when everybody depends on her, she'll somehow get hurt because of it. It's like, she, she'll like, I don't know. Something might happen when her mental collapses. I don't know what it would, what could cause her mental to collapse. But there's no way they don't just like foreshadow this and that doesn't happen in the future. That was amazing. But... I wanted to see Opera's power more. She might accept because Iruma lives with <laughs> But she's got her own ambitions with the, her family job, right? Yeah. Man, to see Opera have this much interest in Amity speaks like volumes of how amazing Amity is. Mm. Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. Inuma is gonna be there. Why don't you come over? Yeah? She's in now. She's in now. <laughs> oh, we're just playing housewife now at home? I mean, kind of. You'd be living together. I'm not sure if it's your. Yeah, let your imagination run wild. <laughs> Mary! Yes, I'm gonna join you. Therefore, I will accept. Is she gonna accept? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll think about it. Put, put it on hold. Put it on hold. And that's another episode of Iruma Queen. Damn. I'm already popping off like that. God. It's been. Because, like, <laughs> I've completely forgot about how like important she is as a figure. I just kind of forgot all about that because, you know, Amity and Iruma, oh shit, we're just feeding shoujo manga together, rom-com, haha. <laughs> Actually, she's also the student council pres and she's rank six, right? Wow, I think. And she's only in like her second or third year. Her family bloodline ability is insane. At first, I was like, no, is this something that if you just like believe in yourself, it just happens? It is. It absolutely is. And not only is it just working for like physical strength and speed, poison resistance. She just believes it. It fucking works. This power is so busted. It's broken and I love that Amity has it. And the fact that her hair color changes too, like she's going Super Saiyan when she activates it. Fantastic. But here's the thing. Here's the thing that I'm thinking about, right? Because even Opera said, as long as she believes in herself and her mental state is good, it's going to work. There will come a moment in the future where we rely on this power and her mental state collapses. I'm not sure what will happen. Some kind of some kind of ridiculous damage to Edema where she just starts warring and like her mental state collapses and then therefore her power doesn't work anymore. I feel like something like that could happen in the future for sure. Probably not so soon, but maybe sometime in season three. I don't know. Caligo's group, amazing. You know, Caligo was looking out for them the entire time. He protected them at the end. You know, he just wanted to get the kids to get involved and then he uses his fucking OP to golden servers to like sit down. So easy. Now all that's left is Edema's side. Seems like Azaz and Sabro's gonna take on the red dragon thing. So my guess is they're gonna fight and maybe it's not enough. And then Edema comes and saves them somehow. Pandarula also Balam is still here, but Balam's power isn't really suited for offensive capabilities since it's just detecting lies, but yeah. Fantastic episode regardless. But hey, if you stick around the song, if you enjoy my reaction, you already know what I'm going to say. Check out the other videos and playlists to my channel. If you watch another video immediately after this one, it helps the YouTube algorithm push out my small channel to recommend so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys, take care.